Good day fellow noobs. Today we're going to learn what you can do if the column headers in your data sources have different starting points. So what do we mean by having different starting points? So to illustrate this, so assuming we've created a query already, so let's make a sample one. So I'm going to load this file here. from here I'm going to select uh, endorsements and I'm going to transform data okay so what we mean by starting point is if, if you look at the columns here there's an extra five so one two three four five five extra rows here that we want to remove so we can get to the column header so what we would normally do is so from if we have this so I'm gonna remove this these steps first so I'm gonna delete until end so what we would do is so remove top rows here since we have an extra six here I'm gonna type in six I'm gonna click OK then from there we can put in the row headers. Now this is all fine and good and we can load this to our file. And as you can see it's loaded here now. Now the problem comes in is if we load in a different file now if we change the source. So for example I'm going to change this to the second file which is test2 here. Um, so one problem here is the source goes to the navigation first so you have a different video for this one you can check it out but I'm just gonna get the first first worksheet all the time so so if you look here now there are two extra rows here instead of six if we go through the whole steps so it subtracts all of the other data so it skips the column header that we want to get now if we go through this this is going to be a different we're basically going to get an error which is going to be like this okay so that's not what we want so we want to make the removal of the top rows to be more dynamic so what we can do is going back to this remove top row step we're gonna delete that it's very simple you're just gonna have to select one column that has the nulls in it but you kind of have to pre pre prepare so look into the data source itself so which of the columns have uh, continuous data in it so for example for this one I'm gonna select column 3 and I'm gonna click on the filter and uh, we're gonna click on remove empty so this makes it more dynamic in the sense that you no longer have to hard code the rows that you have to that you want to remove so the remove empty basically it excludes the nulls already and if there are blanks like this and now from here we can put in the row headers and it's gonna load it right away here you notice it's changed already to to this okay we can if we change the reference file say put it let's put it back to the first one should pull through correctly so import if we click on close and load okay so it loads it loads per perfectly it loads seamlessly for both files even though they have a different starting point for their column headers and that's it 
Uh, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to enter on the comments below. Thank you and good night.